Hey guys, welcome back to another lit video. I am lit. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are a returning subscriber, love you for watching as always. And you guys, happy new year! This is literally my official first video for 2022, and I'm excited to start this video. You know, my first official video, I have posted the videos for the year. This is my first one filming for the year. If you get me, but yeah, um, happy new year. I hope the new year is treating everyone awesome so far um i don't have any complaints if you haven't don't forget subscribe down below it is red a red button that says subscribe don't forget subscribe subscribe if you are still here literally listen to me blabbing blabbing you should subscribe because that means you love me all right um follow me on all my social media pages they're always on the screen and in the description below i do have personal and business pages as well so go ahead check it out uh, feel free leave a comment down below which part of this video you like don't like want me to do do not want me to do you know i'll accept it and before we start i used to do this on my channel all the time before okay since it's the new year why not so cheers everyone if you guys remember from my birthday video this is the glass that Leticia got me it's so pretty i love it Fudge. i love it i love it just have some wine let's go sip mm. And you know, if you are Guyanese, if you are Guyanese, listen, if you're not drinking rum, you're not drinking no kind of alcohol, what's wrong with you? <sighs> Some of them, Syrac or them people that should sponsor me, you know? Because trust me, I can convince y'all. But that is good. You know, so we're just gonna chill with some wine today. Um, I know you guys already see the topic. This was a requested video, actually. I've been meaning to do this video for a while now, and I haven't. So I said I'm gonna start with the new year different and give you guys a little sneak peek. So this video is all about my tattoos and my experience in them and the pain level. So I will be showing you guys all that I have. Yeah, all that I have and I'll talk to you, you know, about the level of pain for them that I had. What I can remember because I had my first one was a while ago. So yeah, I'm going to share that with you guys. So if this is something you're interested in, please stick around, you know, until we get started. And you can grab yourself a drink. And okay, if you don't drink alcohol, you can drink whatever you drink. You know, these days we drinking water, minding my business. So I do have water too. <laughs> So whichever one you do decide to drink, just take it, sit down and relax. And All right, so the first one I got ever, I don't remember what age I was to be honest, but let me tell you, All right, before I get started, I always wanted tattoos. I always wanted tattoos, piercing. I actually was really fond of piercing, but I actually do not have like, besides my ears, I do not have piercing anywhere else. I just have like tattoos. I have five tattoos. So let's start there. I have five tattoos. And yes, I want to get more. I do want to get more. My first tattoo, I was not 20 yet, I can remember. I was not 20 years old yet. I'm going to insert a picture there and I'll talk about it. So this one is um, a picture of a rosary. If you're Catholic or you know what a rosary is, that's a picture of a rosary. It goes around my ankle, as you can see. And it falls like this part of my foot down, what do you call that? But yeah, um, I remember the t shirt that she uh, did, she take me somewhere, but something of the sort. But like the person that did the tattoo, like she knew the person, whatever. And I remember wanting this tattoo so bad. And yeah, I got it. It was pretty painful, like on the bone, the bone part. That was pretty painful, but you know, one years. So on a scale of one to ten, I would say that was maybe six. I'll give it a six for pain. I'll definitely give it a six for the pain level. And that was my first tattoo. Yeah, a rosary on my ankle, okay, guys. So these two tattoos I got literally the same time. I was back home in Guyana and I got this. Um, Either I did one first, but I remember getting a break in between. So I'm going to show y'all that one. Um, yeah. So that's this. So the one on my right inner arm 
it says my mother my life um obviously that's already it it's pretty clear what it means i don't really have to explain that to you guys and the other one is on my left wrist so this one says family first it has a heart and some kind of design so this basically has my sister and my brother's initial so how i did it i did it from oldest so it's kai noel and cole this so says family first k and n k n and c so kai noel and cole so i basically did it like from me she's my oldest one she's the oldest between the three of them then noel then um cole so that's how i did it um pain level for this one this one the color and the shading hurt like about four from um, one to ten like a four and then the other one this is my mother my life bra 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 that shit burnt that was like an eight that hurt like the fuck it hurt a lot it hurt it hurt it hurt it hurt, it hurt, it hurt a lot and um yeah that's the two i got so i got this one one of them first i can't remember i took like a half an hour break until my friend's tattoo was done and then i did the other one yeah um this one is also pretty explan explanative 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 they ain't sound like how do you people to say the word explanatory <laughs> very very explanatory Let's say I know what I'm trying to say. Don't laugh. Good. Right, so this one that you're seeing right now, it's one on my back. Um, it's in Arabic, and this is actually a quote. I mean, if you're watching this and you can read Arabic, let me know if this is actually correct. Maybe the person put something crazy on my back. <laughs> no offense, Nick. No offense. Um, yes, it's actually a quote from a Bob Marley. From Bob Marley. I don't even know if it's in a song. I think it's probably in a song. I'm not sure, but I remember. I wanted something inspirational sentimental to me and actually he for some reason came into my mind to do a quote from him because like obviously everyone loves his music and stuff like that so i just um i just decided i'm gonna see which one i felt at the time and that's what i did because around that year was kind of crazy so it says you never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have i think we all have heard this before so i decided to get that but i didn't want it to be in english where everybody can read what's on my back i decided to do it in a different language and arabic you know it's different and nice so hence why i chose that yep so that's the one on my back now listen to the thing behind that again i always have a feeling to get a tattoo and da, da, da. I always know what I want to get I just don't know when I'm gonna get it or who's gonna do it or whatever and I was back home shout out to Nick um, I'm actually gonna leave his description he is currently in the States so if you guys are there and you're watching and you want a tattoo you can link him he's very very good like I grew up with him back home actually we lived in the same street and he's amazing and then um, we he came over to my cousin's house where I was and staying. then I was I remember I think it was boxing day yeah and we was drinking and stuff like that whatever and I was sitting in a chair and he just was doing the tattoo and I fell a fucking sleep because that's what I do during a tattoo like who falls asleep you're gonna hear this story who falls asleep Lindsay of course Lindsay it was scale of one to ten it was a seven it was painful and i honestly think i passed out because i was intoxicated let's use let's use the correct terms here i was intoxicated maybe at a 70 percent because it was christmas and it was like boxing day in the afternoon you know and we're lit we're lit we're lit we got these we're lit we always like we're always like come on yeah um so that's that one so that's my fourth one and then my one of my faves it's this the wheel everyone's like why you put a wheel on you why you have a wheel on you why you have a wheel on the wheel on the wheel because i like wheels don't you like wheels don't you like to ride 
right, so um, this is my last tattoo. This one is called Dharma Wheel. Um, I, everything that I have on my body, and I, I'm sure I will be ever putting, it has to be meaningful. It will definitely be meaningful or mean something to me in some ways. Um, this one, I. Yeah, there it is. This one I saw Jine Aiko. She had it. She has it, right? And I saw it. I'm like, this is different. But I'm not just gonna copy her tattoo, like, without knowing what it means or whatever. So I did some research and whatever. And I actually thought about it for months. Because I mean, I've never seen anyone else with it. And I'm like, you know what? The meaning of these things and whatever. So each, um, each like stroke or whatever you want to call it, each point, right, um, represents something. So I will insert, of course, a picture of that with all the meaning. So for me, that meant something to me and I liked it. Like I kind of, I don't have rules or stuff that I live by, but I like, I'm a respectful person. I like to respect people and I like to be respected. And that kind of represents that for me. You know, to always be in tune with your inner self and your feelings and this kind of stuff. Even if you have to go out of the way a little bit to be bad and bougie, you still know who you are and you conduct yourself accordingly and whatever, right? So, yeah. I actually went to a tattoo artist location place here in Canada, like somewhere downtown Toronto. Um, and this was like a couple of days before my birthday. And I was really, I was like, for my birthday, I want a tattoo. That's it. Desperate. I was like, I need it. I need it. I need it. Found a place to do some wishes because, besides my first tattoo, all my other tattoos was back home. So I didn't really have a tattoo artist here that I use or whatever. So yeah, um, found a place. Went there. It was a lot in price, but you know I love it. Um, Scale of 1 to 10, the pain level was probably a 6, 7. And I don't know how, what, but your girl was sleeping. Your girl was sleeping. And I was not, like the other one, intoxicated, no way. It was like a regular day, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I fell asleep, I guess I was tired, to say the least. I'm sure I was. Um, yeah, but that's it, that's all my five tattoos. Um, no? Out of all my tattoos, yeah, comment down below which one is your favorite or which one you think um, means a lot to me, I guess. Comment which one, like, which one you like the best, you know, whatever. Um, none of these, I would say, it's weird when I get these tattoos or when I'm getting tattoos. The pain, it, as you, if you notice, I never said 10. I never said 10. Like, even if it hurts, like, to me, it's not excruciating pain. But how I can say excruciating, but I can't say um, explanatory. <gasps> ah, dang, dang, dang. That's the word, that's the word, that's the word. Anywho's, yeah. Um, yeah, comment down below which one of these tattoos is your favorite or which one you would get if you like tattoos or wanting to have a tattoo, wanting to get a tattoo. And also comment down below if you got something to drink. If you like this, please give me a big thumbs up. I appreciate y'all for watching. Um, bring your friends, family, cousins, auntie, grandmother. I know your grandmother home. She ain't got nowhere to go. She have nothing to do. Put the TV on to she. Or create a... Okay, listen. Create a, a YouTube account for your grandmother. And your grandfather. If you have both of them, both sides. So you have two grandmother, two grandfather. Create the account for each one of them, so they have four accounts. So there's four subscribers I can get. Create it for them. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't so, you don't want to miss out on all this crazy. <laughs> no, do you? No, you don't.